Colombia's economy was hit hard by COVID-19 pandemic. Last year, the country's finance minister said it had set Colombia back eight years in its fight against poverty. This is a country with huge inflation, with never before seen levels of devaluation of its currency and a need for long term growth and with the highest debt we have seen in the last 20 years. The polls show the economy and unemployment are among voters' top concerns as they head to the polls on May 29th. The leading candidate in pre-election polls is left-wing presidential candidate Gustavo Petro, who has promised to combat long-standing social and economic inequalities worsened by the pandemic. But Petro has also caused a stir as he differs from Colombia's long list of economically conservative presidents who have backed an export-driven economy dependent on trade in commodities such as oil and mining. Petro has pledged to halt all new oil development, hike taxes for ultra-rich, and redistribute pension funds to finance social programs. That has investors fearing volatility ahead. Previous administrations have tried to diversify the economy away from its reliance on oil and coal exports. Economists say this must happen whoever wins. Colombia has eight years of oil left and a little more if we have fracking. We need to rethink the base of our economy in the long term. And that is a question that most candidates have not answered. Only one of them is touching on it. Colombia's fuel price stabilization fund has insulated the country from the shockingly high gas prices hitting consumers around the world. But Luisa believes some economic disruption is almost inevitable. At the moment, we have a stabilization fund that is subsidizing gas prices without any resources. No one before an election wants to raise gas prices, and that fund without money will have to be assumed by the new president. If none of the candidates on Sunday's ballot wins more than 50 percent of the vote, the top two contenders with the most vote will head to a June runoff. Michelle Vega, CGTN, Bogota, Colombia.